What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 31 in the Math 1 questions that North Carolina released this past school year. We can see that this table shows the U.S. average life expectancy at birth in years in various decades, and then each of these numbers in the X column represents the number of years since 1930 in which the decade started. And we're trying to figure out the meaning of the slope of the linear best fit equation for the data. All right. So the big skill that this is testing is, in general, how to interpret the slope and y-intercept of a line of best fit. Of course, the question uh, tells us that we're only interested in slope. But for now, let's um, go ahead and talk about how to do this. We're going to need to do a linear regression in the calculator. And so I have my calculator here. I want to start by putting all this data into list 1 and list 2 in the stat edit menu, which I've gone ahead and done, 10 through 80 and then the corresponding y value to match. Let me zoom these in closer. And at this point, I can go back to stat, to stat, say calc, and come down to linear regression ax plus b. I press enter twice, and it gives me all this stuff. All right, so um, if you remember from y equals mx plus b, this m that's next to x represents our slope, and this letter B here represents the y-intercept, the place where my line of best fit is going to hit the y-axis where x equals 0. We're interested in the slope, so we're interested in A. And for A, I got about 2 tenths. And so if I look at my answer choices, A and B both talk about the predicted average life expectancy at birth in 1930. Now, the, in, since this column says years since 1930, 1930 itself would just be zero years. And when x equals zero, that's the y-intercept that we're um, talking about there. So since we're interested in slope and not y-intercept, I'm going to use the wording of these answer choices to eliminate them. Choice C, the average life expectancy at birth increases by about 6.7 each year. Well, that doesn't match with the two-tenths that I got, but choice D, the average life expectancy increases by about 0.2 each year, does. So my answer is D, and I just got that by plugging all this data into my calculator, doing the linear regression command, and interpreting what I saw there in terms of what I already knew about slope. 